Hey, welcome back. So uh, let's do the last part. Let's do the pagination. Um, so what I've done here is, um, first of all, I've checked out version zero. Oh, I just need to add something here. There we go. Version 0.3.02 to get to the current code. And uh, I've changed that around a bit. So now I actually have pagination here in the bottom. And um, now I can just jump between these pages if I want to and have a look at all my beautiful code here. I can just step one, dun, 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 and I, everything's running. And not only that, I can actually sort while I'm paging, and I can even go in and search while I'm paging. Let's just try 10, right? So now I only have two pages. So everything's running with pagination as well. And just notice that the speed has actually also increased. That wasn't what I wanted to do. So, um, so interesting enough, maybe it's not the server data loading. We'll get back to that later. But right now we have the 200 titles and it seems to be working very fast here. So everything seems to be running. What did I actually do? Step one was actually going and looking for just Googling for a great pagination tool for Angular. And somebody built this directive right here. Uh, Michael Bromley made a cool directive that I want to try out. And um, there's a few basic examples here, and I don't want to run over them. Two things that made sense for me was one, that this could actually work with the current data setup I have right now, where all the data is on the client, very, very simply by making a few changes. Now, the second thing, the second thing that interested me was that I can actually also make it so that I can push data in there from the back end. So I can actually limit the data like we talked about in the first video. So I have both here, both opportunities. So I want to use this guy. And now you guys have to remember about how do we actually install such a thing. And in our case, we're going to do this. Power install Angular Utils Pagination. So I'm just going to start out there right away. I just want to do the install of this new tool I want to use. So I'll do this. I'll paste bar install pagination and do a double uh, dash and write save because we want to save it for the power file. That has two reasons. One is that if somebody, if some of you guys have grabbed this, you can just write bow install and you'll get this automatically. And the second thing is the way that Grunt works, it'll actually only add it into your index HTML file if you have it saved in your power JSON file. So that's why I'm doing this. So let's just save this. And here we get this downloaded and, and added to our code. So now we have to do a second step. And he says, to use this, you have to actually add this new dependency right here. You have to explain to uh, your Angular setup that you require this directive. So let's go into our code and do that. To add new dependencies, we need to go in here, and I already added it right here. We need to go into the Angular model module under app.js and explain to Angular that I'm also dependent on this new guy. Now notice that when I did the power uh, install save, I actually had it added here as well. There it is, right here. Not only that, Grunt detected this and said, well, since the new dependency is in here, I'm going to also add it to the index file. So if you look under index.js, you'll also see under JS files, now there'll actually also be a script here, right? So if you get the save, this guy won't be added and then nothing will work. You'll be told you don't have access to the JS file. So that's why you need to do the save in the end. So remember, when you do <clears throat> actually set this up, remember to have the dash dash save in the end if you want to use the full stack setup. Great. <clears throat> Let's get back to the code here. Um, so that was what I need to do in the app.js. Now all I need to do is implement it. And I don't have to touch the controller in any way if I just want to do this basic setup that I've done. Step one is go in here and say, instead of using ng repeat, let me just undo this to show you the old code actually. <clears throat> yeah, so, so here we kind of had the old code. This will be deleted in a second. But before we did an ng repeat to get the syllabuses, We've already talked about this. You know what ND repeat does. But we changed that into a directive pagination. And that's because he built this directive that then kind of it runs through the directive and something else happens than what normally happens in an ng repeat. So he's kind of made a new type of ng repeat that has more information in it. And the really important one is for us items per page 10 or whatever you put in here. That depends on the amount of pages you want. So if you put in 20 here, you'll show 20 per page. That's up to you. I'll just add 10 for now. And you could, of course, also add some kind of drop down to select. I want to show 100 per page. That's up to you. Very, very basic. You can do the same like we did with the search field. So let's, that's what we're doing. We're just changing ng repeating with, with the dear pagination. So that's gone. And then we're adding this extra filter guy right here saying add items per page. 
And that's kind of what adds the pagination part inside the repeat, inside the ng repeat. But we're doing a second step. We're also adding this guy right here. And this is actually the line you're seeing where we can press, like click the numbers here, okay? And we say we only wanna see five at a time. I think the max is 10, so let's just try and change that into 10 at a time. So let's do that and save. And now you'll see 10 here at a time, right? That's up to you how much you put in there. And just notice that it's still showing me 10 guys here. That's independent of the number I'm putting down here. So the number here is how many I wanna show per page. And the number here is how many buttons I actually want to show in the, in the list down there. You can read all the documentation about this directive. He's really covered it well in here. You can just run over all docu documentation if you want to. And also if you wanna to try to do an actual um, load where you get data asynchronously, he also explains that in here. So you can look at that if you want to. But now you have pagination on your, in your beautiful website.